what happened here? What what happened in the last, you know, 12, 14, 16 hours here? Well, the the you know, litigation is uh is is sort of a reason to negotiate in generally in these types of things. And so the Big Ten and the and Michigan and Harbaugh, the parties here, were going back and forth all week with different proposals on how to not go in front of a, a judge because you go in front of the judge, anything can happen. Either side could win or lose. So they basically reached a settlement. Harbaugh and Michigan will accept the three games. Um, the Big Ten will publicly announce that Jim Harbaugh, they have no, there's no proof. There's no uh, information that says Jim Harbaugh knew what was going on and they will drop their investigation. And so obviously the Big Ten gets their three game suspension of Harbaugh, which is what they wanted. The part that, that Harbaugh and Michigan get is some certainty that going forward, should they get past Ohio State, get into the postseason and say some other piece of information comes out, um, some other evidence, some kind of question, because this is a program penalty, not a Harbaugh. Mm -hmm. They're not saying Harbaugh did it. They're saying Michigan did it. So something else comes out. And there are so many unanswered questions here still. How do you drop uh, an investigation, though, that you didn't really investigate? I'm guessing that this was the NCAA, not the Big Ten. The term, I, I agree. They're basically saying they will not suspend. They will not take further action is 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 sort of the, the way it would go. So let's say um, they find out, I don't know, there's more games involved or someone else might have known or like we find out so just some different things. It's not a major, major thing. But you don't have that uncertainty that the Big Ten might add a fourth game to it. So this was the deal. They're not going to court. Um, this is not a major legal drama. This was not a few good men. Uh, this was not <laughs> Harbaugh's exciting Judge Judy. It was just, uh, all right, this is what we're doing. We're moving on. Everybody get, uh, uh, let's just concentrate on coaching football instead of doing this. Uh, I don't think they wanted to be it, it, just getting it past them. So that was a decision they made, whether it was a good one or not for anybody. I have no idea. What's the NCAA do, if anything? They continue to investigate. So they're investigating and um, they're, you know, the investigation could likely t extend past the season. Uh, or it, it's certainly going to keep uh, certainly the regular season. They still want to interview people. There's a lot going on. And then when they have their, they have a process, they find out what they are going to allege. They give a notice of allegations to Michigan, Michigan that has 90 days to respond to that. And then there's like a 45 day re-response. And then you move on to, do you negotiate there or do you take it to the full? There's a long process, man. The NCA loves rules, processes, <laughs> processes about rules, rules about process. So the. <laughs> it, you know, it took six years on a on on the FBI basketball scandals. Like I was on here six years ago talking about that. They finally ended them all and and didn't really come up with anything. So it's a process. So the NCAs could extend certainly into the summer. It could be a year from now. They're still going on on that. So the the big what the Big Ten was doing was stepping in and saying we got to punish him right away. We cannot let this wait. And um, I thought that was a tough precedent that, that they may they may regret that, but that was the decision they made. Um, so here we go. The NCA is going to continue their pro. I mean, look, it, when there's an ongoing investigation in, in this case, Michigan, no one's saying Connor Stallions didn't do it, including Connor Stallions. Okay. He hasn't ever come out and said in a statement or anything, he's not talking to anyone, but he's didn't come out in a statement saying, I didn't do this. This is crazy. There's a simple explanation here. So when you have an ongoing investigation into something, the only information coming out is going to be either negative or neutral. Like, well, we didn't find anyone new. Um, it's not going to be like there's an exoneration here. It's just highly improbable. There's an exoneration that they, that someone doesn't bring. So as it goes forward, you run risk when you're being investigated that something else negative will come out. Something it's just unlikely. This is going to, I, I understand Michigan's call for due process and all those things. And, and, you should, due process is always a good thing to follow, uh, but it's not like this due process has much likelihood of all of a sudden at the end of this going, hey, you know, it turns out nothing happened. But they cheated. Right. How did who 
That's why they, they, they're not going to come up with, oh, they didn't cheat. Yeah. It turns out he didn't buy the tickets. Like, yeah. yes. yes. So that's why when you're if you're you're the defendant, if you will, you know that the investigation isn't going to clear you. It probably it's either going to be neutral. This is it. Or it's going to be a, it's going to be negative, whether that's a little or a lot. Yeah. Dan, so Wetzel, they broke the rule. Dan, that's yeah. it. 